Hi now, the heat is back. Yes, it is. Meteorologist Hallie Vogel is tracking how long it's going to stick around and what we can expect for the start of the holiday weekend. So many people happy that the holiday weekend oh. is here, but it's going to be hot. And you know, today, today is the hottest is the hottest. Tomorrow is going to be more humid. You pick mm. which one would you rather have? It's hot, less humid today, not as hot, more humid tomorrow. Think about it. I like today. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that before you even <laughs> thought about it. I do too. I don't like the humidity, so there you go. All right, well, 91, the high today. This is the fifth time this month we've had 90 or above. 96 was, of course, the hottest day. That was on the 21st, so our temperatures are running above average for the month of June. And yes, we've had five. We averaged 13 in a summer or a year. Last year, we were right on track. We had exactly that 13th, the most we've ever had, 39. And then I already talked about that June 21st this month. It's 96. So when we really start to see those average, of course, we see the most typically in the month of July. We get about a handful, but we are already seeing that for June. So yes, we are definitely above average already. 89 degrees for a hot evening downtown, 88 in Ann Arbor. It's 86 degrees in Mount Clemens and 84 degrees Port Huron. So temperatures are plenty warm. But again, we're talking about dew points in the 40s and 50s. We a lot of times we'll talk about dew points when we have temperatures this hot in the 60s and 70s. Not the case. It's a dry air mass. The warm fronts to the north. Here comes the cold front. This will actually start to slide through tomorrow. So out ahead of it, we're going to stay plenty warm even tonight, but our humidity will be creeping up overnight and we're going to feel it tomorrow. 91 in Chicago. Just wanted to show you where that cold front is behind it. Fargo 78. Look at Marquette. 68 degrees. Wow, what a temperature change. Here comes the cold front, scattered showers and storms. This is after midnight, 3 a.m. up toward Alpena, Traverse City. And I do think they'll be a little bit more active the further north you are as the, the cold front slides through. We get to about noon, they're coming close, maybe around M59 northward. We get to 2, 3 o'clock. And notice how the forecast models just sort of break them apart trend as they slide southward during the afternoon, but still scattered showers and storms are in the mix. The time frame between about 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. tomorrow. One of the two of those storms could be again a gusty wind or so, but we're just kind of hoping maybe a few heavier downpours just because we could use the rain. We don't want it to interrupt any plans, but we don't see a whole lot of rain after that, certainly for the weekend. I wanted to show you a quick look at those dew points mid 60s, so it is going to feel plenty warm. Warmest temperatures from Detroit southward tomorrow, mid 80s for the weekend and the humidity will creep up Monday and Tuesday, but temperatures still at or above average. Stay with us. Brett is up next with sports.